Evening, yeah, so it's Thursday night and Joffy is back in his motor home, just turning on the fridge on automatic, so it's just going to uh, start chilling that one down. Um, I've got my big bag of groceries to load the motor home. So we've just been to the supermarket, got a load of swag and uh, about to uh, fill the fridge again, ready for Friday. Yeah, so as it goes last night, I had a bit of grief for my iPhone and uh, the um, charging packed up, the battery died on it. So literally last night, probably eight o'clock, I had to uh, get on to um, get on and get another phone sorted out. So I've used my original because, you know, I'm like, I'm a bit uh, haphazard with me uh, with a new iPhone. So there is a new iPhone 13 in there in the in the uh, case in the case so i'm going to try and sort out a case i just have my time at the moment we're going to have a peruse later on so i get a case so it doesn't line up quite with the camera at the moment with this one but um yeah bit of a bit of a nightmare scenario <laughs> could have done without that today a lot of stress trying to get it reset up with all the gear on it nightmare but uh hey ho iphones last about 18 months and then the batteries give up and uh, that's the end of that so uh new iphone in the yellow case yeah, so just checking out what we got. This is the Southern Fried Chicken. We have a Chinese dinner there. And uh, that's going in my fridge. Get that in. That's going to be um, one night. We're sort of at, probably going to have a Chinese one night and we're going to have the um, Southern Fried um, like burgers another night. And I uh, got mozzarella sticks. Oh, we got bacon. We got sausages. We got eggs, tomatoes, all the usual Joff's uh, super breakfast. There's the bacon. Right, let's get that sorted. Okay, so we got a couple of lots of tomatoes in there. And we have wild rocket, which I will probably squeeze in there as well. That'll go in there. I've got my uh, bacon tucked away in my sister Sistema boxes. And uh, what else have we got? Mozzarella sticks, tomato ketchup, salad cream in that one. That one's open there. In the bread bin goes my sliced loaf and my burger brioche rolls in there like that. And then we've got the snacks. So same format tonight. Joff is literally just going to uh, fill his motor home up with um, goodies. We've got some cool Dorito tortillas, tortillas, more snacks, more snacks, <laughs> pretzel minis up there. Um, and basically, I think that's that. In the bag now is our beer selection. And we have, so we got down our beer shop and uh, they had two cans of brew dog layer cake on the shelf and we're like oh no because we enjoy this stuff so uh, i said to the lady i said ah you haven't got any more um of that layer cake so she went out the back and uh literally came back how lucky are we seeing it's valentine's weekend we have a whole case how good's that? Oh my god, that's that's incredible. So we got to try and drink up some of this beer. We're getting a bit of a backlog on beer. Someone was messaging me today about um, motorhome weight, <laughs> motorhome weights, and it's a really interesting subject. We I need to just like dive into it a little bit more. Obviously, this motorhome is. Um, plated for three point five tons, so. Uh, yeah, so um, basically what I try and do, just to uh, put it out there a little bit, is obviously in the winter time I haven't got my mountain bikes in the back, and uh, but I've got kind of other things that my my snow chains and my shovel and stuff like that, which you wouldn't have normally in the summer. So we tr that's where I kind of uh, winter stuff, summer stuff, uh, empty out. We do that kind of swap over later on, and uh, so obviously then um, try and minimise down, keep keep an eye on the weight. Um, um, obviously, I don't work pretty light, I think, to be honest. I, I 
but you can go to a weighbridge, a public weighbridge, and weigh your motor home. So we need to investigate this a bit further, maybe, and uh, prior maybe our summer trip or something, we need to uh, get on the weighbridge and just make sure we're in that three and a half ton, the plated weight of the vehicle. Some of these uh, motor homes, and uh, well, obviously the other thing is your license category. So uh, I'm well within because we we I drive trucks and stuff, so I'm uh, within my category of um, dri driving the weight. But obviously it's the vehicle plated weight that uh, you got to keep an eye on because you can overload it so um, we'll look into a bit more of that but so that yeah that's the basics in it that's that's the basics of it and uh, some of these um Motor homes now we're going up 7.5 ton, even more 10 tons, big RVs and stuff. So um, even bigger. But uh, yeah, just got to keep an eye on that little weight thing. And uh, unless that's why I kind of trying to um, some of the stuff that I don't use that often or might be a little bit heavy. Out they go, right. Yeah, so I get a lot of people asking me what we're still in here. I'm going to, uh, this is my Thursday night rip round video. So it's going to be super fast, super quick. I've got to get in the shower in a minute, um, edit the video, put it out. Let's just have a look at the time. What are we on for time? 20 to 8. 20 to 8. So, yeah, so keeping on the theme a little bit, I get a lot of questions about my TFAL um, induction, single plate induction hob. Um, and there, she, there it is. I've had it for a long time now. It's um, absolutely amazing. So, when I'm on electricity hookup, I've, I'm always using this thing with uh, my frying pan. So, I've got a green pan here, green pan make and uh, induction. It goes on the uh, on there, superb, like. yeah. So, uh, and then to go with it, also we have a couple of these T fowl induction pa saucepans. So, really nice quality. The when we first got these, we're kind of like, yeah, you know, the, the long, you know, in the long term, you know, the good cookware it just like lasts. And uh, these are absolutely lovely on there, absolutely amazing. And uh, you know, outside, inside, whatever you want to do, you know, um, boiling up your potatoes to pasta. And then we have the um, so that's the smaller one of the two. Um, yeah, poached eggs in there. Um, then the bigger one. We've got the bigger size there, and uh, same breed induction hob. Look at that, friendly. Look at that. And these are like multi, so you can put them on the gas. We've had it on the gas outside. Um, if you if you've not been on the electric and stuff, but um, there we go. So basically, yeah. And I think these. 45 possibly i think this came from like john lewis something like that you see him online now um yeah different makes but t foul um matching the saucepans doesn't get much better than that does it so that's my little uh, cookware video for tonight i think that's going to be uh the the, uh, the end of that one tonight so yeah right that's it then yeah thanks for watching this video you know the score we're off tomorrow and uh um, go to a real interesting one and uh so keep um, you're always posted tomorrow we'll um, try and get some pictures out on instagram as soon as we can and uh, try and rip some video on the destination we're heading tomorrow and we're super excited about it super valentine's weekend brew dog hearts flowers all the lot See you later. See you tomorrow.